Today is April 1st. Of course you know what that means, as that date is perennially and globally met with all manner of prankdom in what's historically known as April Fool's Day. The goal is to make you believe any fabrication possible, and that bleeds into this sporting world effortlessly. Seemingly no one is immune from being the prankster, as evidenced by six-time Super Bowl quarterback Tom Brady making his first-ever tweet a memorable one, claiming he'll retire and use his spare time to be on Twitter more. Count former Dallas Cowboys running back DeMarco Murray as another who wants in on the fun, firing off a message of his own. After much consideration and thought, excited to be back with my man Jason Witten and the Dallas Cowboys, he wrote. Two rushing champs in the same backfield. Let's get it, Ezekiel Elliott, needless to say, Murray is joking. The 30-year-old won't be donning a helmet again, after retiring from the NFL in 2018 and taking his talents to the broadcasting booth, the third former Cowboys All-Pro to do so in just two years, following in the footsteps of ex-teammates Tony Romo and Witten. Like the latter, Murray's stint on the microphone has come to an abrupt end, but unlike Witten, there will be no return to the Cowboys, as he has decided to take on the role of running backs coach for the University of Arizona. There can be no doubt the three-time pro bowler knows a thing or two about what it takes to dominate at the position, his record-setting 2014 season in Dallas being clear evidence of such, and his NFL crowning achievement. Things went south quickly the following season when he headed to Pennsylvania to join the rival Philadelphia Eagles, leading to career lows for the former Oklahoma superstar. Murray rejuvenated his career following a trade to the Tennessee Titans, but was ultimately released with the emergence of Derrick Henry. The Wildcats could certainly do worse than bringing in a former first-team All-Pro who delivered 9,339 yards from scrimmage and 55 touchdowns in only seven years, and considering he's a native of Las Vegas, a six-hour drive or a one-hour flight from the campus, you could assume that proximity only served to sweeten the deal. As for Cowboys fans who fell for Murray's prank, there's nothing wrong with imagining how dominant the club would be if the elder statesman and franchise record-setting veteran teamed up with the younger franchise record-setting halfback, but that's all it'll ever be from now until infinity, imagining. While grateful for what Murray did prior to leaving for the Philadelphia Eagles in free agency, the team will look for a talented back to spell Elliott in this year's draft.